Hi! You probably just landed on my page because you just typed in how to handle irate callers in a call center. Uh, hi, I'm Kathy Wilder and I've been in customer service as a manager most of my life. So I, I know what you're up against. <laughs> uh, I was a waitress starting at 16 and uh, uh, that's certainly a lesson in customer service. But I, I've also managed an answering service and uh, I was manager at a, a lawn care service company. So um, I've talked many an irate person down off the ledge, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, okay, first thing is, you cannot take it personally. An upset person cannot help another upset person. And they're not upset at you at all. They're upset about a situation. And it's your job to help them to, to solve their problem. Okay, so this is all about helping people. Uh, now, if they're screaming and really upset, just calmly ask them to calm down, that you're trying to help them, and you need them to tell you what happened. And at that point, they'll usually give you the story. Okay, now, this is very important, too. Don't apologize until you know whether or not your company's at fault and don't take the caller's word for it. You need to check out their story. If they said so-and-so came out and did this or so-and-so did that, you've got to check with so-and-so, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, but 98% of the solution to any problem is in correctly defining the problem. You don't actually know what happened yet, so when you do, then you can figure out what's to be done about it, how you can avoid it in the future, and that kind of thing but you can certainly empath empathize with the person. I can certainly see how this, this must be very upsetting for you. Um, now let's try to figure it out, okay? Now it kind of, you know, if your company is at fault, then it depends on your level of responsibility as to whether you can make amends or not. So at that point, you may have to refer the call to a manager. As a manager, I would offer something free, a refund, something. And at that point, you know, sometimes they're still not happy with that. They just want to yell at somebody. <laughs> so then you ask, how can I fix this? H how do you see this problem being resolved? What, what can we do for you? And they may or may not ask for something unreasonable, but usually at that point, they know you're trying to help and then they will compromise, okay? Uh, and, you know, how to handle irate callers in a call center is very important. Uh, in fact, your company's reputation stands on that. You know, any company can do a great job when everything's going great. But it's how they handle a disaster that truly defines them. And I can tell you I've seen this happen over and over again. I've seen many times where my company screwed something up so bad it was horrible. But the way we fixed it, we didn't lose the customer. We gained a friend for life who told all his friends about us, how we stood up for the problem. Okay? So that this is very important, and, and you have to kind of master it. But just don't get upset. Uh, it, it's your job to fix the problem. <laughs> okay? All righty. Well, if you ever get tired of working in that call center, you might click on the button below and see what I'm doing online because... Uh, it's probably a lot more fun. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I hope for the rest of the day you have nothing but really nice customers, nice callers, okay? Alrighty, make it a great day. Bye-bye.